Hello, today I want to share with you a book I just finished reading called Saints in Love. This book is from Crossroad by Carol Hallenbeck. And um, it was quite a surprise. The book really is intended for married couples or for friends, but actually for anyone who's really wanting to learn more about relationships. And relationships specifically looking at divine love and how that can be manifested in our relationships with each other. She begins the book from page one stating, Years ago, the man who had become my husband looked at me one day and said, Your love for me helps me to believe in God's love for me. The connection that he made perceiving the divine love in our very human love touched me deeply. And that's kind of the premise of the book. She asks, well, what would that inspired relationship that's filled with divine love look like? What, did, what would the inspired couple look like? The inspired marriage? The inspired parents, teachers, friends, or employers? What is that image of divine love? How can we find that? Um, where can we see it? Where can we taste it in order to bring it into our own life and to kind of transform the love with which we live and share? She takes in this book, um, Claire and Francis of Assisi, their love for each other, Teresa of Avila, John of the Cross, Catherine of Siena, Pope Gregory XI, and of course, Francis de Sales and Jane de Chantal. She kind of retells their stories, but in a very unique fashion. She's gone to many of the places where these people have lived. So she talks a little bit about her pilgrimage there. But she really pulls out of their, their histories, really their relationship with each other, and what we can learn from that in our own relationships as married persons, as friends, employers, employees, teachers and students, uh, whatever you want, um, what we can learn about a divine love. And at the end of each chapter, she has a section called Love Notes, which is just go great, you know. At the end of Francis and Claire, the love notes are, the first one is rites of passage. And in this, she talks about the jarring transition that Francis and Claire took between their life as kids, their life as members of a family, and beginning to follow their vocation. And she states, our children are part of us and belong to us, certainly, and we are responsible for them. But as Francis and Claire demonstrate so clearly, our children truly belong to God. And God works directly in their lives in a way that we would do well to observe, honor, and obey. She talks about risk. Francis and Claire showed us how a step toward divine love required risk when she left her home in secret to join Francis. And he risked the entire Franciscan community to receive her. There is an element of risk in life, especially when we strive actively toward happiness. So many couples hope and plan and wish for their life to evolve in one way or another. They dream of starting a business, moving to Alaska, or traveling for a year. The years pass. It is natural to put safety first, especially in these uncertain times. But love will require a leap of faith for the vivid life of dreams. Make a journey for your soul. Take your chances. And don't wait for every detail to be nailed down. Trust in God and in yourself. Meet your miracles halfway. And this is one more little section called Thresholds. When Clara left her home through the door of the dead, she crossed a threshold through which there was no turning back. When we embark on our own journey into love, we too cross a threshold and move forward into a new life in a new way. Meet it wholeheartedly. Attempting to retain our former life and identity once we enter into love may diminish our new life and intimacy with our partner. The way to divine love is to surrender to new life. Trust the invitation of the threshold that it is a manner and way of all growth and life throughout creation. This is, is probably sitting on your saint shelf. It should also be sitting on the family and marriage shelf. Um, for wedding couples, people who are looking for a, a unique gift, this is a great add-on because it's something that no one else will think of. And yet it will give a married couple such an interesting 
um, look at their own love for each other. The subtitle is called The Forgotten Loves Between Holy Men and Women and How They Can Make Our Relationships Divine. Thank you and have a great day. God bless.